Guernsey has been a rich prize sought after by rival powers for centuries. And that's why it's protected by this monster here, Castle Cornet. I'm going to go inside and take a look. This is one of the oldest sections of the castle. It dates back almost to its foundation as a castle. And it exists here because the politics of Western Europe changed. The kings of England had owned Normandy pretty much since William the Conqueror had come across and captured England in 1066. But King John in the very early 13th century lost hold of Normandy, but he kept hold of the Channel Islands. So suddenly these were on the front line between France and England and massive fortifications had to be built to keep the French out. I've climbed up now right up to the top of this rocky outcrop. You can see from up here it dominates the harbour of St Peterport. This is where the medieval keep would have been, the ultimate strong point of the castle. Um, it's not here anymore because it's one of the most terrible accidents in British military history. In the 17th century, 1672, a bolt of lightning struck the keep and somehow ignited the powder in the magazine and blew the entire keep sky high, killing the governor's wife and mother. The keep was never rebuilt, and ever since then, the governor has lived in a rather nice house in town rather than here at the castle. This is a great vantage point. You get a really clear view now of why this castle was so important and is occupied such a powerful position. You've got this breakwater here, that was only added in the second half of the 19th century. So until that was there, you could only get out to this castle at the very lowest of tides. That's St. Peterport there, the main settlement of Guernsey. Whoever controlled this castle controlled St. Peterport. The technology of war changes, but the geography doesn't. And this site was as important in the 20th century as it had been in all the conflicts previous to that. And that is why this concrete emplacement was built by the last enemy force to occupy this castle, the Germans from 1940 to 1945. Something like 16,000 German troops were holed up in the Channel Islands uh, during the occupation. That's a huge number, it's equivalent to almost an entire division. And they fortified themselves in on this site and countless others around the island in case the British attempted to invade the Channel Islands and take them back. But they never did. They realised it was easier and more costly for the Germans to let them just rot on the vine here in the Channel Islands while they pushed on to Berlin. 